RV life is all about freedom and adventure, and it doesn't have to be complicated. The right tools and products can help to make RV living more comfortable and stress-free. Today, I'm sharing 19 products that have made RV life not just easier, but a whole lot more enjoyable. Hi there, I'm Leanne, and this is Making My Abode on the Road. I wanna jump right in with two of my favorites. If you've been watching for a little while, you've seen these before, but stay with me because I have a bunch of new ways that I'm using them around the RV, and I'm gonna share all of them with you here in just a minute. Plus, I'm giving away a set of each to one of my lucky subscribers, so keep watching to find out how to win. If you haven't seen these before, these are little silicone toothbrush holders. I love these, they're fantastic. Okay, so I had a towel bar right here, one of the command hook um, towel bars, and it lasted a long time, three years actually, almost three years, but it started getting weird and falling off and it was incredibly annoying. So I went ahead and put a couple of them there and now we use those to hang the towels. I also put one right here to hold our bottle cleaning brush. And then for my Ninja Smoothie Maker, I put one on the side to hold the cord. So I don't know, underneath here it has this where you can kind of wrap it around, but it doesn't stay very well. Uh, and so I just put that right up there so that it'll hold it in place. And then I also put one up here for my husband's razor. And this one here, right next to my bed, I used to hold my book light. So right there you can see I have a command hook and then one of the silicone toothbrush holders. I had another hook um, just like that um, right next to it, but it kept falling down. And I think it's because I used the Velcro on those hooks. I'm, you're not really supposed to do that. Those are for hanging pictures and stuff. So it kept falling down. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and try one of those. I have, um, what I hang right there is my Cricut mats and then right here I have our sticker map that's what I had hanging on this other hook so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back up and hopefully that will last a little longer we'll see I'll let you guys know <laughs> And these are shower bars that you put in the shower to keep all your stuff from falling over on travel days. There are a lot of these on the market. I love that these are stainless steel. Most of the ones that you find on the market are plastic. They're adjustable and the adhesive is excellent and they just work. I have partnered with the Saffiner brand to get you 10% off these shower bars on Amazon. Just enter the promo code MMAOTR10 at checkout to get 10% off. By the way, links for all the products mentioned in today's video will be down in the description below as well as the pinned comment. You can also visit my Amazon storefront. Everything we recommend is all in one place. Okay, moving on. A brass elbow fitting for your water connection. It's gonna save wear and tear on your connection here because if you have your hose coming out this way, it's gonna be kind of pulling down. So that just saves some wear and tear on that. It also offers a little bit of pressure regulation. You could also get um, a quick connect that you would probably put right here and then just, you know, nice and easy, but this works pretty well for us. A garden hose splitter. This makes it so much easier, especially when you need to flush the tank. And then you can just run a hose that way. You don't have to disconnect your whole water and all that business. The next product is an expandable water hose. At first, when we first started out, um, we had one of the big white hoses and it was so bulky and big and very hard to store. These are amazing because they shrink up to practically nothing. I can store them very easily. Um, one of the things though with these is that the little rubber gasket tends to fall out and it will end up leaking like crazy right there. But, um, you know, just a pro tip, if you keep uh, a bunch of rubber gaskets on hand, you can just quickly replace it. So that's what we do. Um, the hose works so well, I don't really wanna give it up for that reason, so. So you can see how small it is. This thing goes to 25 feet. And that's because it needs one of the gaskets. <laughs> These take up so much 
less space than the big white hoses or really any other hoses that I've seen on the market. And we're able to do everything that we need to do. Um, we have one that is specifically for flushing the black tank. And then we have one that we use as our fresh water hose. And then we have another one that we use to give the dogs um, baths. You can see this is the gasket right here. It's all kind of messed up on the edge there, but it does come out pretty easily. But that one was working, it wasn't leaking. So um, yeah, just keep some of those on hand. These Anderson levelers make getting the RV level so much easier, especially in spots like this where from side to side, you know, one side is lower. Um, it just makes it easier to get the one side lifted up. And then you do this before you do your auto leveling and you will have no trouble getting leveled. They are made in the USA and they have a 100% lifetime guarantee. The next thing that makes RV life easier is having a generator. You just never know. First of all, you can boondock and camp for free, but also you just never know the, the electricity at the RV park might go out. And if you have a generator, you're going to have power. Our generator um, is equivalent to 30 amp power. Next, we have an electric paddleboard pump. We should have gotten one of these immediately when we got our paddle boards but um the the paddle boards we bought came with a manual pump and so we were like yeah we don't need it and we quickly found out that it is just so much better <laughs> to have the electric pump it used to take forever for us to pump them up and then by the time we were ready to you know go paddle boarding we were like already exhausted it takes about eight minutes to pump them up with the electric pump um and you know, it's just, it has made it so much easier. We love paddle boarding. It's one of our favorite things to do outdoors and it's great exercise. And by the way, this time of year is a great time to buy uh, paddle boards if you're in the market uh, because they go on sale every fall. I found these washable rugs on Amazon and they're, they're pretty much a knockoff to the ruggables um, that you see like on TikTok and Instagram that are very expensive. <laughs> Uh, they're just the same. You can throw them in your washing machine. Um, they clean up really well. The big one that I have, um, I wasn't sure. This was my first time washing it and you'll see it's kind of a tight fit. Everything worked out and um, it got pretty clean. I don't think I'm going to keep doing that because I don't want to ruin my washing machine, um, but it will easily go into um, just a regular size washing machine. And I believe that it's the um, five or four by six, five by, I'm not sure. I'll put it in the, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen, the exact size that I bought. <sighs> okay, wish me luck. It's in there, but it is, it's pretty tight. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on how things go. When you vacuum these, you do need to put it on a lower setting. So I have my uh, cordless vac, stick vac, and if you don't put it on the lower setting, it will suck it up into the, uh, the roller bar. So just make sure that if you, you know, vacuum them, that you use a low setting. They're really soft. Um, there's tons of nice designs too. I really liked all of them, but the ones I picked obviously I like the best. <laughs> They're holding up great. Um, I have washed the little ones numerous times. They wash up very easily. This one might surprise you, but our outer rug has made RV life much easier when it comes to keeping the RV clean. It helps to keep small gravel and leaves and mud from being tracked in by us and also by the dogs. They get most of the dirt and grass um, off of their feet just by walking across the rug. It's just nice to have kind of a, a designated, you know, kind of front porch area. And sometimes in certain sites, um, like this one that we're currently in, it's not really, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's just grass. We're just kind of in grass. There's no gravel or anything like that. So it's, it's just not def in a defined area, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And the rug just helps. Um, some RV spots you go to, they won't allow you to put a rug on the grass um, but you know just read the rules and it is what it is sometimes you're not gonna be able to use it but 
for the most part, we've been able to use it at any place we go. I replaced these. These were some command hooks, and uh, I replaced them with these wooden hooks. They're so much better. The command hooks were working, but the towels kept sliding off, and now they stay put. I still love command hooks for so many things, uh, but I just think they're better for the towels. Also, I really like to use them for decor. I just think they look really nice. The adhesive, by the way, is excellent. It's pretty much just a thin piece of silicone tape, just like alien tape. These thin hangers from Walmart, these are the only ones I could find that would fit in here properly and we would be able to close the door. <laughs> Um, all the other ones, they would stick way out. Um, I tried some from Sam's Club and Amazon, some felt ones. Um, but these, these are the only ones, only ones I could get to fit. They're super cheap and this rubber stuff helps keep the clothes on. They don't fall off. It saves a ton of space. You see how skinny that is? I still have a couple of our old hangers. I used to have just the plastic ones like that. An air fryer definitely makes RV living so much easier. I, I love it. My old one finally died. I had it for like seven years. So I got this little Ninja and actually I'm liking this even better. It's much smaller. It fits in this space so much better. And I mean, it's actually only one quart smaller than my old one, but I can do all the same things that I've always, that I always did in the other one. Um, it has a dehydrate function, which I think is so cool. I'm very excited to try that. I'll let you guys know how that goes. It makes delicious fries. I love using it for French fries and for cooking sausages. This one is also a little bit quieter. I've only been using it for like a couple weeks, um, but Ninja is an excellent brand. I'll let you know if I have any problems with it, but I highly recommend any air fryer you find that you think is gonna work for you because it just, it's wonderful. And of course, my beloved Instant Pot, once again, you know, fast, easy cooking. It doesn't heat up the RV. It's very versatile. Um, I use it mostly for cooking rice, roasts. I use it as a slow cooker. I make yogurt. Those are the things that I use it for most. It does come in different sizes. I have two. I have a six quart and I have a three quart. A six quart is excellent for a family my size. Um, I also got a three quart because I like to have two dishes going at once. So I might have like, you know, some barbecue or something going in the big one and then maybe some potato salad in the small one and then dinner's done. <laughs> maybe just some beans, you know, on the stove or something. I can't recommend this enough for RV life. It definitely makes my life easier, mostly the quick cooking. So definitely give it a try um, if you haven't yet. If you're just a couple, the three quart is gonna be a perfect size for you or even for a single person. I love this cutting board stove topper. It adds some nice counter space, a little extra counter space. It's nice and big and wood really is better for your, <laughs> for your knives, you know, to keep them nice and sharp. I just, I really love this. I've always liked having a big cutting board and I definitely like the added counter space. We love this Pit Boss little tabletop wood grill slash smoker. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So a Pit Boss tabletop grill slash smoker might not be something that necessarily makes RV life easier, but it definitely makes it even more enjoyable. I mean, Thanksgiving, you could smoke a turkey breast out there. We've done two of them so far and they come out so insanely perfect, juicy and tender and full of flavor. It's a compact wood grill smoker in one. It's small and lightweight. The temperature control makes smoking meat a breeze. You don't heat up the RV with cooking outdoors, right? I mean, like that's why we do this, so we can spend tons of time outside. <laughs> Incidentally, this little pit boss would make a great Christmas gift for RVers. I love cooking with the Blackstone. <laughs> Again, we're outdoors and I'm not heating up the RV. You know, I'm also not stinking up the RV. Bacon, I hate cooking bacon inside it. it I don't know, maybe it's just me. I cannot stand the smell of bacon cooking. I know some people absolutely love it, but I do not like it at all. So I love to cook bacon outside on the Blackstone. It's very versatile cooking. Again, um, you know, you can deep fry. I've put a skillet on right on top of it and we deep fry fish. 
Um, you can even steam, you know, like vegetables. Just put um, like a, a lid or something over it. I have a couple of recommendations if you're looking into getting a Blackstone. Number one, get one with a double burner. Um, the cooking is much more even. It gets hotter and it holds the heat better. And get one without the cover. It's just, they're, they're just disgusting. They get really greasy and it's very hard to clean. And then the coating tends to chip off really quick. Another thing is get a dome instead um, and you can mimic you know like the oven or a grill and you can steam things or you can melt chi melt cheese and finish meats like chicken breast or bratwurst okay these next few items if you rv with your dogs these are going to be lifesavers i think most people rv with dogs almost every person we see has a dog the first thing is this clay you feed this to your dogs, you sprinkle it on their food if they get diarrhea. And dogs get diarrhea for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes it's just because they ate something goofy. Uh, it, this just happened to Brandy the other day and she, um, I think she just ate some grass that might have had just something yucky on it and she had diarrhea for a few days, but this stopped it immediately. This is a great thing to have on hand. It's really cheap on Amazon. You actually, this, we got this at our vet, um, before we ever found it on Amazon, but it's pretty cheap on Amazon. You can get it from your vet. So I just wanted to mention that this product is for acute diarrhea and, you know, just for random things that happen. Sometimes dogs get diarrhea, you know, sometimes people get diarrhea and it's usually nothing to worry about. And this stuff, it, it just helps, you know, immediately stops it if it's just, you know, a little tummy bug or something. Um, it can be very difficult when a dog has diarrhea uh, and, you know, it can make an awful mess inside the RV. So that's where this product really comes in. I wanted to mention um, just the, the symptoms of a blockage in a dog because in that case, uh, this clay isn't really gonna do anything for you. So if your dog is having diarrhea and vomiting, um, and if the vomit smells like diarrhea, that's a huge sign. Um, some other signs are loss of appetite, um, and they might be straining or unable to go poop. Um, they may have dehydration. They'll be really weak and lethargic, um, abdominal pain, and maybe even to the point of becoming a little aggressive if you touch their, abdom ab their abdomen. Um, they might be bloated. Um, they might be whining just for, for kind of no reason. And another sign is drooling, um, just excessive drooling kind of for no reason and almost kind of like foaming at the mouth. So if your dog ever has all of those symptoms together and not just diarrhea, you know, that's when you want to take them to the vet. Um, if it's just diarrhea and they're acting normal, this is an excellent product. Like I said, our vet gave it to us. So, um, you know, and I, I trust our vet. So I am sharing this product with you because it has been helpful to us on many occasions. The next thing is this dog wash sprayer. This thing is awesome. It makes quick work of dog baths. You just put your soap in here. Whoops. <laughs> you just put a little bit of soap in here, attach it, and the hose attaches here and then you turn it on. You can turn it on to water first if you just want to rinse, if you want to do a pre-rinse. And then to use the soap in here, you just turn it to soap and then it pulls the soap up and then you have soapy water coming out and we just spray. This prevents you from using too much soap which can cause weird skin fungus if you don't get it rinsed off well. This helps you rinse them really well. And it's not so scary for dogs because you can adjust this to either being a stronger stream or a light stream. It's just not as scary. It's too cold out right now to demonstrate a dog bath for you, but my daughter did make a short for me. So I will link that in the description below and in the cards above. So you can watch that and just see, kind of see how it works. I can't say enough about this little nail drill. I picked it up on Amazon for under $20. The, the price may be different now, but um, I will link it in the description below. This thing is amazing. Um, it's very easy to use. I love that it's rechargeable and it's powerful enough even for those thick nails on our old man, Moosey. 
Um, it works great. It's not too loud. He he does so well with it, and so does Brandy. It doesn't freak them out. Um, and I think because it doesn't freak me out, so they're kind of better with it rather than some clippers. Um, I know at the vet when he had gotten his nails clipped before, he did not do well with that. You know, it's it's kind of traumatizing but um this thing is so much better and this may or may not work for you and your dog um it's pretty easy though one thing when I first started using this I was squeezing his paws too much and he kept jerking away and then I was afraid I was gonna hurt him or hurt myself so if you just kind of push the nail into it into the drill instead of holding on really tight to their paw, you know, like squeezing their paw, they shouldn't jerk away from you too much. And I mean, he does so well with it. He's always wagging his tail. I think he just loves the attention. <laughs> okay, here's how you can win the shower bars and the silicone toothbrush holder. First, you must be subscribed to my channel. This giveaway is strictly for my subscribers. And second, just leave a comment below. Anything you want. You can say hi, Leanne. You can ask a question, anything you want. If you make a rude comment though, you're out. I'm deleting your comment so you won't be part of it. Don't make rude comments. The giveaway will run for one week and in next week's video, I'll announce the winner and I'll also reach out to you in the comments so that I can get these goodies shipped out to you. If you liked this video, I recommend you watch this one next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.